guys, thanks so much for tuning in again today. I really want to talk about highlighting today. Um, as you guys know, it's in the middle of winter and if you live in a cold climate like I do, highlighting is definitely something that you look to do to add a little bit of radiance and glow to your face in the winter months. So for those that, of you that don't know what highlighter is, um, it's sort of like a sheeny um, glow that you can add to your face um, and most people add it to their cheekbones, um, sometimes above their brows on the sides of their face here, and then also to the cupid's bow. So it really can kind of help add that sheen, that glow, that really brings that youthfulness to the skin. So for all of you makeup junkies out there, I'm sure you know what highlighting is, but you would be surprised how many of my friends say to me, Ashley, I don't know what highlighting is. So I wanted to touch on a few of my favorite highlighters. Um, as you guys know, highlighters can come in many forms. They can come in a loose powder, pressed powder, creams, liquids, lots of different great forms. Um, so I'm just going to run through a few of my favorite little highlighting tips and tricks and products for the winter. So I'm going to start with a couple powder products since that's sort of the most versatile type of highlighter. And they come in a sort of pressed form like this. Um, and this is Soft and Gentle from MAC. It's a baked highlighter. And I'm probably not going to try to show you any swatches throughout this video because um, I know the lighting is bad in here. But they just provide a really nice, subtle sheen glow. They're almost like a transparent, champagne color most of the time. Sometimes they're bronzy, sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're more, more golden. But Soft and Gentle here by MAC is a really nice, neutral, champagne, beige color. So it would work on almost any skin tone. And I would recommend high, um, applying this highlighter with a duo fiber brush like this. But this is a really small one, and this is from Sigma called the SS188. And you would just swirl it in the product and then dust it onto the cheekbones right there, maybe right here, do a little bit of a C motion, um, and then over the cupid's bow. So that's one example. Another pressed um, kind of highlighter that I like a lot from MAC is Whisper of Guilt. It's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This one's a little bit more gold and has a little bit more of a buttery finish. So I really like this one for um, summer because it has that more gold quality. But honestly, if you were to swatch these side by side, they're really not that much different. So that's the great thing about highlighters is, if you have one really great solid highlighter, you probably don't need to buy more than one because the differences are very subtle. So the next form of liquid hi of highlighter that I want to touch on is a liquid form. Um, and the one that I really love is called Sunbeam. And it's by Benefit. It comes in this sort of nail polish type applicator. And this one's really awesome for mixing in with foundation. If you're a liquid foundation user, you can also use this similar to how I described with the powder, um, but just dotting it all over the skin and then blending it in with a brush or you can blend it in with your finger. The one call out I will say is liquid highlighter, if you have a lot of imperfections in your skin and you need to cover those up, sometimes liquid highlighter can sort of blend away your makeup. So that's what I would recommend is sort of partnering this with the foundation, doing all of your foundation, and then sort of taking your foundation and your liquid highlighter, mixing it together, and then just brushing that on in the areas um, with like a flat foundation brush where you want it. The thing I love about Sunbeam as well is that it has a nice golden tint to it. Um, so it's not as much of a frosty white, which is my personal favorite for the summertime. Which um, another form of highlighter is a loose powder, and this is another benefit product called One Hot Minute. And this one is more of a bronzy color, rose gold, I guess as they call it. Um, and this one is different in that you can be used really all over the face and provides this really pretty soft focus, dewy kind of glow sheen to the face. Um, without being overly sparkly or glittery um, or chunky. None of these highlighters are going to give you that chunky, glittery effect. So that's definitely not something that we're going for. This one I love to apply after I've done all my makeup, just to kind of my over my cheeks um, and do the kind of 3C three, three thing. Um, love to apply this just all over my face. Gives this really nice soft focus finish while adding a little hint of bronze nothing overwhelming, nothing orgy, just kind of helps warm up the complexion a little bit. Um, another form of highlighter is a sort of highlighting pen like this, and this is another MAC product. This is the Prep and Prime, and it's a little clicky pen. You can either dot this all over your face wherever you want to highlight, or you can use it in the back of your hand with a brush. 
I tend to use it in the back of my hand because I find if you over apply product, it can kind of have a reverse effect where it's almost too much luminosity and it can make you look greasy or shiny in a bad way. Um, but this one's great for particularly I like to use under the eye area, you know, when you have those dark circles or your skin's really dry and um, you're looking a little drab. I just, I feel like this really just boosts my under eye area. So I just dot it there and then just blend it in right around my concealer and it really helps perk up the eye area. The final highlighter that I wanted to touch on in the traditional sense is another benefit product called What's Up and it looks like a little light bulb and this one is a stick highlighter which is really easy for on the go and this is probably one of my favorite winter highlighters because it has that really frosty white winter effect. Um, whereas some of these are a little more subtle, a little more golden in tone, a little more for summer, um, really great ones. This one's really great for winter, especially if you have fair complexion. Um, and this one, again, you would just swipe kind of wherever. Mainly, I really just use it on the cheekbones, but you can put a little on the cupid's bow, on the nose, above the eyebrow, and then you blend it out. You can blend it out with your fingers. You can blend it out with a sponge tip blender that comes with it and I love this one because it's super portable, super, super easy to apply and also very pigmented and very concentrated so a little goes a long way and you really don't need another tool with this one so if you don't want to carry around a brush this one would be a great option and also the clicky pen something that you can just throw into a clutch into a pencil carrier or a mini makeup bag or a wristlet and you have your highlighter on the go to just kind of perk you up whenever you need a little lift. Now I wanted to finally touch on one more way to highlight the skin that's not a traditional highlighter. It's by using a foundation with a little bit of a glow or a sheen to it. And the two that I use um, are Revlon Photo Ready. You can get this at the drugstore. And then also Lancome Taunt Miracle. These are two options of foundations that have a little bit of a pearlescent glowy do to them. Um, that sheen, that sheeny quality. So if you... <clears throat> are afraid of using a foundation like this all over your face, one option is to mix a foundation like this in with your regular foundation. So do a squirt of each, mix it together, and then apply. Um, so it kind of gives, it can give a nice kind of demi-matte satin finish where it's matte, but it has still this really healthy glow, which seems almost like a contradiction, but actually looks really great. Um, what I love about Taunt Miracle, in particular for winter, is that it's super hydrating and it's really lightweight really soothes the skin, hydrates the skin. So if you have dryness or if you have irritation sensitive skin, this would be a great one. It's like giving your skin a drink of water. This is literally like 40% water, I think. So it's very water-based, very liquidy, very lightweight. Um, Revlon Photo Ready, bit more of a matte finish, bit more coverage, but again, really great. Um, option for winter and also really long wearing which I love and it's from the drugstore and it comes with a pump love the packaging um, I love to mix this one in with my Revlon color stay to give me a nice long wearing yet dewy foundation look so I hope that this was helpful for you guys and kind of better understanding highlighters which ones that I like and how they can be used if you have any questions please leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching bye